Hey guys, so this is going to be my first playthrough of Starbound. And I've played through this game before, or at least I've played through part of it before. But I've never actually properly sat down and seriously tried to play it, so... I'm going to create a new character. I'm just going to be a human. I was debating, I actually recorded a little bit before playing as a glitch, because I think their backstory is cool, but... I think their aesthetic is kind of... eh. Um, what are these? I, f I forgot about those. Are they fish people? Yeah, they're the fish people. But all the, uh, races in this game have pretty interesting backstories. I think that's more like me. Huh. Gotta get the hair right. No, that's not it. Say, I almost don't want to play as a human, because I can play as a human in Terraria. But, meh. Can I give my guy, like, a hoodie? That's a hoodie, there we go. Like, where? I think that's cool. I think that's kind of funny how you can customize that. Okay, I do want a different color for hair. No, nope, that'll do. It almost looks reddish brown though. Kind of want brown brown, but eh, I don't know which was better. It's kind of too light for me, but I'll just do that one. That works. That is not my name. Do survival. Done. Okay. So obviously I've played through the tutorial mission before, but... I think I've gotten up to like the third or fourth mission in the uh, game. But honestly, the missions are not that entertaining. So we have overslept for our graduation of some kind. I don't know if it's college or if it's high school. I always like to think of it as high school, some kind of futuristic space high school, but I don't know if I like the color hair I did. I feel like that's too light for me. Ah oh well, whatever. Put this thing on. Not that I really need to, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, basically we're going to get a mat a uh, matter manipulator, which is basically a pickaxe that just mines everything. Um, this game straight up is more ba it's similar to Terraria in some ways, but it's more based around exploration, and uh, at least that's the way I've come to understand it. I don't want that in my hair, but I'll keep it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me running late for class, that was typical. Alright, now this guy's gonna get a speech. I mean, honestly, this speech is more exciting than my actual graduation speech. I think they went on my actual graduation speech. They just talked about Frozen for about 30 minutes. I'm not even kidding. Uh, I think it was the year of my graduation or maybe the year before Frozen had come out. And I remember the valedictorian was extremely uh, condescending towards literally everyone else. It's like... Was, oh, yeah. A uh, giant squid monster, by the way, as I get distracted randomly by graduation. Yeah, this did not happen at mine. Take the matter manipulator, okay. Yeah, I really do not care much about the story. 
I love how a giant squid just burst in, and it's giving me, like, cheery music because I picked up this thing. Like, there are dead bodies all around me. Okay, so... Yeah, but no, on a serious note, <laughs> my graduation actually... They literally just talked about Frozen for like 30 minutes, and the lady that was talking about it sounded like she had never seen the movie. I mean, I've never seen the movie, but she just sounded like she had no clue what she was talking about. It was kind of bad. Couldn't wait for it to be over. Giant tentacles. Reminded me of the grave mine from uh, Halo 2 or 3. run through here. The thing I don't like about the missions is, except for like little areas like this part here, you can't mine the whole space. Like, I can't mine this. Uh, like Terraria, you can pretty much mine everything. Although Terraria has its own weird way of preventing you from mining things too early. Some of the missions are cool. Like, there's one where you have to go to like a moon. I think that's the next mission. It's like the first mission. Or the second mission or whatever. I wonder what's in that crate. You can't get to it because it cuts you into your spaceship. Pretty cutscene. Pretty good. Clouds. I have to say, for the record, I love this game soundtrack. Like, this game has one of the most underrated soundtracks. This. Um, and Firewatch, I would say, have some of the most underrated soundtracks ever. Okay, so this is my AI. So basically my tutorial for the rest of the game. Earth was attacked by an unknown force and subsequently annihilated. We did a random slip space jump. Hey, there's a halo ring. Just kidding. <laughs> Little halo joke there. Okay, we are currently in orbit in an unknown world. Your ship is heavily damaged. We are unable to leave orbit. You know, the bad part is I do think that you do find, like, an ancient alien structure when you beam down to Earth, kind of like in, uh, the Halo series. That's an interesting, a giant rosebush looking thing. Let's mine that. Like I said, I have played this before. I know somewhat about it, although not that much. You know, sometimes, because, like, I've heard a lot of people, apparently this game I had heard was actually developed by some of the people that developed Terraria originally, and basically the creative direction just split, so they split into two different studios or something like that, and ever since then there's been an argument between people with uh, Terraria and Starbound, which one's better. I mean, more people play Terraria, but I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I enjoy both of them, although Terraria does get a little, like, I find with Terraria that I have a lot of fun with it for, like, an hour or two, or, like, I'll play it for a week, and then it'll get stale. Whereas this, I feel like I haven't properly given it a try. I will say, though, most of the Steam hours that I have on here clocked in are just me sitting in the menu, listening to the theme, because that theme is amazing. Ooh, a sleeping bag. I'll take that. Yeah, in this game, uh, beds and sleeping bags don't really do anything except they let you heal your health. Which... Eh. Kinda wish that they would allow you to sleep and skip through the night time, because night time on this game kinda sucks. Not quite as terrifying as Terraria's night time, but... Nighttime comes quick, like it's already coming on this world, it looks like. It depends on the world, which is cool. It's depending on the world size. Because you can actually go to all different planets in this game. You're not confined to one world, which I think is cool. That spaceship I'll actually be able to get operational, I'll be able to fly it soon. Okay, why is it dark literally as soon as I make landfall? That is not good. Gotta get some of this food, because your hunger does run out quite quickly. Well, this sucks. 
It's literally dark as soon as I started the game. Okay. I think the, uh, there's like little bunny rabbits that run around in this game. I think the bunny rabbit is the same exact, like, drawing or model or whatever term is correct for that, as in, uh, Terraria. They reuse some of the assets, I guess. What's this? Uh, it just gives me some healing. Corn! That's what we need. Everybody likes corn. Well, everyone I've ever known. This game has very unique weather, too. I'm not sure what this one is supposed to be. Like little tiny meteors or something? It's pretty neat, though. Those little things crawling around that'll kill you. I do remember, I don't remember how to get them, but there's like little Pokeballs that you can actually capture those things in. Get away from me. Get away from me. Yeah, and your health doesn't auto-regen either. So I'm gonna have to be very, very careful. Some of these things actually look like some kind of Pokemon. I haven't played Pokemon in years, so I don't really know, but... Hopefully the nights are just as short as the days around here. Although it's not too bad. I haven't died yet. Although realistically, I should get some of these crops. And, uh... Huh. Why can't I place you? Eh, whatever. I'm just gonna cut through it. Yeah, that's one thing about this game, though. There's a lot of, uh, old buildings. This is the thing I need for the quest, this ancient portal. Unknown radio signal, so that portal's gonna lead me to somewhere. Can't mine these portals, though, so... actually fall. Like that. It's so satisfying when they finally do fall. Die. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. No, please. This is a misunderstanding. No. Stay away. Stay away. Better eat that thing before I... Jesus Christ. Why are there so many of them? Why is it raining? This is not a good first night. Back up. Back up. Back up. Aha. There we go. Okay, we're doing a little bit better. I think what I should do... I should craft a campfire. I can make some food, which will let us heal up. When your hunger meter's full, you heal up, like in Minecraft. Except you actually have to eat more often than this. And there's way more food items, which I think is pretty cool. Well, I guess I'm gonna sleep in the rain. This is terrible. So I've been attacked by a giant squid monster on my graduation. I've beamed down to a planet where it immediately turned nighttime. 
Everything tried to kill me. And now I'm sleeping in just a sleeping bag on the ground in the rain. This is just great. Here, let me take my graduation outfit off. I don't really need that. Um, I do not need to have that on. Because clearly the graduation is not happening now. Well, I've healed up. Oh, and now my guy's running around naked. That's okay. I guess I should have a baked potato, have some veggies. Is rice a vegetable? That's a good point. Ooh, I like popcorn. Okay. Pack up camp and keep moving. Looks like this place is kind of chilly, so I should probably put my hoodie on. So yeah, I like this game. It's just peaceful. Just kind of walking around. It almost reminds me. It's got like a weird vibe to it. I don't know. It's nice though. As I say it's peaceful, I'm getting jumped by everything and anything. Okay, this is not a good mountain to be on, apparently. Jesus Christ, this is not a good mountain to be on. Well, I killed them. I think. Let's mine these plant fiber things, because I can make bandages or salves out of them or whatever. I'm not sure what a salve is exactly. I'm sure I'll find out. Yeah, but uh, bandages and salves are extremely useful in this game. And it is becoming daytime, so at least I got that going for me. So I have not managed to find the thing that I'm supposed to find, which is not the greatest. At least it's daytime. Look at that sunrise. That sunrise is nice. So you don't get sunrises like this in Terraria. Let's check it out. Oh, those things suck. I've seen those. Those are like three... Those are three smaller monsters. Get away from me. Stay away. I don't know why everything wants to kill me. I'm just gonna keep running this way. Okie dokie. Kill that. See, these things go down pretty easily. A tent, so someone's around here. Another campsite inside of a giant bush, it looks like. A rhinoceros looking thing. See, they don't seem to attack me during the day, which is good. Ooh, is this cocoa beans? Yes, it is. Chocolate is like the best food item in the game. It doesn't expire, because the food will actually expire after a while. Oh, that's spooky. We got a ghost cat looking thing. Stay away from me. Here it is. This is the mine that I was talking about that we want to get to. So I just picked up a manipulator module, that purple thing. Those are good for upgrading my little mining tool. Alright, I'm going to put torches here even though it's daytime. This way at nighttime I can see. It is dark in here. And there are things down there. Okay, well, we have found the mine. I guess I will come back in the next episode and explore the mine. <laughs> Because right now, I do not have enough gear. I might look for more gear off-camera, but I'm not sure. So, 
if you want to see more Starbound, leave a like, subscribe. Doing stuff on Starbound, Halo, Minecraft, probably Stalker pretty soon. I want to do a video on Stalker, the anomaly mod. And that is all. So thank you for watching. Goodbye. And have a good day.